Alexander the Great, known for his insatiable thirst for conquest, once wept because even after conquering vast territories spanning a million square miles, he felt it was not enough. He led his army fearlessly into battle, driven by a relentless pursuit of victory and seemingly unconcerned about defeat, almost as if he believed himself to be immortal. Despite his men yearning to return home to enjoy the spoils of their conquests, Alexander remained fixated on expanding his dominion rather than amassing riches or governing. However, his ambitious campaign faced a formidable obstacle in India, where his forces suffered significant losses and encountered a resilient adversary. Reluctantly, Alexander heeded his men's pleas to retreat, marking the beginning of his downfall. Following his demise, a power struggle erupted among his generals, leading to the fragmentation of the Macedonian Empire. Julius Caesar, inspired by the exploits of Alexander, harbored similar aspirations for greatness. He lamented his perceived lack of achievements compared to his idol and eventually assumed dictatorial power in Rome, disregarding the established republican system. Caesar's authoritarian tendencies and ambitions for absolute rule alarmed the Roman senators, culminating in his assassination by a group of conspirators. His death, witnessed by his own adopted son among others, underscored the consequences of his unchecked authority. Genghis Khan, unlike his predecessors, pursued conquest without claiming divinity, openly acknowledging his tyranny and relishing in the destruction of his enemies. Accounts of his death vary, ranging from succumbing to the bubonic plague to being fatally wounded in battle or castrated by a vengeful princess. Khan's demise was shrouded in secrecy, reflecting his prioritization of ongoing military campaigns over his own mortality. His funeral procession became a trail of death as his followers massacred those in its path to conceal his passing. Napoleon Bonaparte, a master tactician of modern warfare, saw himself not only as a wielder of power but also as an artist on the battlefield. His remarkable memory and strategic acumen propelled him to numerous victories across Europe and the Mediterranean, earning him both admiration and fear. However, his ambition ultimately led to defeat at the Battle of Waterloo and subsequent exile by the British. Despite his downfall and isolation, Napoleon clung to illusions of grandeur until his death, reflecting on his legacy and enduring love for his country and military exploits. Thank you for watching. Want more like this? Please share and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified for the next local legacy.